Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a day in the life and it's starting now. The first thing I'm doing in this video is making my husband a cup of coffee. The coffee we're using right now is pumpkin spice and yeah I just make it in my little Mr. Coffee coffee pot and add a little sugar, add a little half and half and you're good to go. <laughs> good morning baby. I had already had my coffee and I had been up for a while so now it's time to have a little breakfast. I'm going to be taking this 12 grain toast and these avocados right here or this avocado excuse me and I'm making a little avocado toast so I just pop my bread in the toaster and toast it and I take a little avocado and I put it in my little frog bowl, smush it up with a fork, add a little salt and pepper, I butter my toast and then I just flop the avocado right on top of it and there you go avocado toast. I'm also going to be scrambling up two eggs. So let's get these eggs scrambled. Ew, look at them. This is one of my favorite things to eat. Avocado toast and scrambled eggs. Ooh, then add a little bit of cottage cheese on the side and girl, you have yourself a bomb breakfast. Trust me. <laughs> and I also had a little glass of vanilla soy milk with my breakfast meal and now I need to clean up the kitchen and I need to clean up the rest of the apartment so that's what we're going to be doing now. I didn't do like a major cleaning. This is just kind of the aftermath that was left over after my mother-in-law visited and left and I was just being lazy and I didn't pick it up. So I need to clean right now and ask Kiki. Say hi to Kiki. So really before I did anything else, honestly, I have a huge mess on the floor here with all of my paparazzi stuff. So what I was doing was just going through some of the pieces and just organizing them, putting like the short necklaces in their own drawer, the long necklaces, I can't talk right now, hello, the long necklaces in their drawer and all that fun stuff. Just trying to organize it because I have it sitting around in these boxes and it's super messy and cluttery and I don't like that it gives me anxiety so that's what I'm doing here if you would like to shop paparazzi you can shop with us on our lives when we go live or you can just shop directly from the website which is listed down below in the description it's heavenlyaccessories.us I know that I've been quiet for like a few minutes while you've been watching this video so I just wanted to pop in and say hey girl hey how you doing I'm doing pretty good I'm just doing this little voiceover and watching myself vacuum this floor so yeah I feel like sometimes I don't need to do a voiceover when I'm doing stuff like this because it's kind of self-explanatory but y'all say that y'all like to listen to me talk so here I am talking and yes I'm wearing my Dollar Shave Club shirt my husband um seen me in it the other day and he's like oh my god I thought you lost that shirt or you got rid of it I'm like nope it's here to stay it's one of my favorite shirts so yeah 
that's what I'm wearing. It's so super soft and comfortable, and I love Dollar Shave Club, so <laughs> whatever. I forgot I was filming a day in the life. So, I unloaded the dishwasher, reloaded it, cleaned the inside of the dishwasher. I know that sounds weird, but it was like funky looking. I'm like, weird. Anyway, I started not feeling good. I was gonna go take a shower because we're doing a live tonight, but I started not feeling good. So I'm just sitting here eating saltines and drinking a Coke. I don't know why I don't feel good. Um, Alan's over here being noisy, packing up some things to ship off. But anyway, back to the day in life. Hopefully in a little bit, I'll feel a little bit better. I shower and get done. I'll go foot later. I'll go feel better. <laughs> so. I just got out of the shower. I'm about to go do my makeup. I'm not gonna do my makeup on camera though because I'm dealing with a lot in that bedroom right now. It's super messy and there's nowhere for me to put my camera or my stand. So I'm just gonna show you this before look, honey. This is all before, okay? We're about to do a transformation Tuesday. Hey, it's Tuesday. There you go. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. It looks wild. I need to do a little extra blending. I did my eyebrows a little too orange. 
I'm not orange, but I couldn't find my eyebrow stuff, so I grabbed an eyeshadow from a palette and <laughs> anyway, look at this highlighter. That's the highlighter I got out of the um, boxy charm. Anyways, that's besides the point. So I just blow dry my hair a little bit. My hair is wild, but I'm not done with it, so don't judge. Um, I wanted to show you guys this little product I got really quick. I'm going to pull this part of my hair up because I don't like putting it at the top of my hair. My hair is still like partially wet because I didn't feel like blow drying it all the way. But uh, anyway, let me brush my hair quick. And I am using my paddle brush from Lange. Um, okay. So I got this product and it looks like a perfume bottle, but it's not, it's pretty cool. The brand is Payot Paris, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so I'll post a link down below so you can click on it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, so this, some of these words, I think they're like in French, but it's an enhancing nourishing oil, so it's actually like a dry oil and you can use it on your face, you can use it in your hair, on your skin. I have not used it on my face yet just because like I have sensitive skin so I try to be careful about what I use on my face and um, I haven't taken a chance with this yet on my face. But I got this complimentary from Octoly. I love oils and I really like dry oils because they absorb super quick and they're not as greasy as a regular oil. So I wanted to try this. Um, it's pretty interesting. It smells really good, like really good. So I'm gonna show you how I've been using it. You can actually spray it directly on something, but I would be careful because a lot sprays out and you don't want there to be like an overabundance of product on your hair or your skin. So what I do is just like spray some in my hand, watch, like that. So it sprays like a perfume and then just rub your hands together and then use it on your skin. It smells really nice. And it's just super moisturizing without being like overwhelming. And like I said, it's a dry oil, so it dries super quick. But I've also been putting it in my hair because my ends have been super dry because like the weather or whatever. So I just put a little spritz in my hand, rub my hands together, and then just like brush it through my hair like this. I don't like to put it near my roots because my hair gets oily fast <laughs> so I just been putting it at the ends like this comb it through and I know a little bit's getting on my brush which is fine because then I can just kind of distribute it through the rest of my hair um, but it's not like an overwhelming amount so I don't bother me but yeah this product is pretty neat I'm gonna put more details about it um, down in the description if you like dry oils this one's really really nice um yeah this is a little box that comes in and so yeah it says it has a unique scent that enhances the face body and hair it's a dry oil that contains a cocktail of three different plant oils um, they're meticulously selected for their protective and fortifying properties um, it softens and illuminates upon application day after day the skin is beautiful it's radiance enhanced so I think it's kind of like um, the type of thing that gradually as you use it, it like benefits you more and more. But yeah, I've been using it for like a week now. As you can see, I really like it. You can put it all over your body, your neck, your chest, your legs. <laughs> it's just like um, a lotion or just like a moisturizing oil, like a body oil, but it feels so good. It smells so good. Woo! I love it. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna let this, like the rest of my hair just air dry, which is probably a bad idea because it's like 75 outside and it's super humid and my hair's gonna end up getting like, whatever. Um, I'm fixing to cook dinner, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be testing out a new knife I got. I'm gonna cut up everything with this knife, girl. Y'all know I've been needing new knives for a long time and Alan bought me that one set and then I got like another knife. So I'm gonna try that out. I hope y'all like the recipe I'm gonna be sharing tonight. I'm excited to share it. I hope it turns out good. Ah! And yeah, not much else has been going on today. 
I've literally kind of been laying around so I don't really feel good. I do need to run to the store and get heartburn medicine. <laughs> and then we're doing a live tonight. I have to prepare for that. Um, my day in the life. It's boring. Okay, I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Bye! Y'all, so, change of plans. We're not doing the cooking video tonight. So by the time we went to the store, I went and got a Gatorade. I had to get my Prilosec, my acid reflux medicine. I think that's what's wrong with me. That's why I don't feel good. By the time we did that, we left like during traffic. So we don't have time to cook or film the video. So we just um, got something to eat quick at Chick-fil-A. And it's like 6.37 and we're going live at 7. So I didn't have time to cook. So I think... This is going to be um, like to be continued. We'll film that tomorrow. By the way, it is so humid. Do you see my forehead? I had to end up putting my hair up in a bun too. There's no way I could even like have my hair down. It's like frizzing up, it looked awful. So yeah, humidity in um, Houston is terrible. I forgot how bad it was, but today I was reminded. Ugh, it's just terrible. Anyways, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do the cooking recipe. It'll probably be like, <laughs> I don't know, right after this. I don't know. Maybe I'll film some more tomorrow of like my day. We will see. But yeah. Bye. Okay, so this is my new knife that I was telling y'all about just like a minute ago. And I was so excited to use it for the first time. Look at this cute little box that it came in. So this is a chef knife. And this little knife right here is so fancy looking. Check it out. Ooh, look at it got that little logo on it it's so nice but I hadn't had like knives in a long time you guys know that Alan got me a few a while back and then I just got this one in and this is from Amazon actually so I will link it down below if you want to check it out but look at that blade it is so gorgeous so this recipe I'm about to share I actually made it up one night so one night, Alan wasn't really hungry. Um, oh, by the way, I'm just going to be cutting up some vegetables because I need like an onion and stuff cut up for the recipe, but I'm also cutting up some other stuff for Alan to make his salad. But anyways, so one night, Alan wasn't hungry and he didn't want me to cook dinner, so I was like, I'm hungry, so whatever. So I went in the kitchen. I'm like, what do I have in here that I could cook? We hadn't been grocery shopping or anything, and I had like the tiniest amount of ingredients, and I love to just create um, recipes. I like to just put things together and make something up. So this recipe that I'm sharing with you now is just that. It's something that I randomly made one night, like exactly how I'm making it in this video is how I made it one night. And as soon as Alan smelled it, he's like, are you cooking something? I'm like, yes, I am. Cause I'm starving. When I walked in with my bowl of food, he seen it. He had to taste it. He ate the whole bowl because it was delicious. And I've literally made this um, sauce that I'm going to show you like a hundred times since I made it that night. It's so simple and it's so good and you have to try it. And if you try it, let me know. So I already washed my lettuce and got that ready in the bowl and now I'm just cutting up this bell pepper and I'm also going to be chopping up an onion and the cucumber and stuff like that. But this knife is actually amazing y'all. It is such a good quality. It is so smooth while you're cutting and it just, it made everything so much easier for me. I absolutely love it. It is a great knife.
So now it's time to start cooking and the first thing I'm doing is seasoning my chicken on both sides. I use salt and pepper, garlic powder and onion powder. I put a little olive oil in my pan and I'm gonna get my chicken started. So the first step to the sauce is putting a little bit of olive oil in your pan and then adding up some diced up or chopped onion. And then I'm adding a teaspoon of minced garlic and I'm going to saute that until it's done. The next thing I'm doing here is chopping up some Roma tomatoes. And I know with a lot of tomato sauces, a lot of people boil them and peel them and all that fun stuff. But this is just so easy. All you gotta do is chop them up. And I know y'all's gonna make fun of me, but I am throwing them in my bullet. That's the way I made it that night when I randomly created this sauce. So that's how I do it. I just put it in my bullet, blend it up, and then I throw it in the pan with that sauteed onion and minced garlic. I just chop it up in chunks, put it in the little cup and blend it up. So I'm just sauteing my onion and my minced garlic until these are cooked and then I'm going to start to blend my tomatoes that way when I'm done with one cup I'll pour it in, I'll do um, you know the next batch, pour it in so it's all going in at the same time and not just sitting around so I'm going to go ahead and saute these for a little bit and then we'll add in the tomatoes, I also need to check on my chicken. She's looking good. She's looking good. So, um, I just want to say I am loving my knife. Like, that was the fastest, easiest cutting I've ever done. You can tell this blade is really sharp and super smooth. And yeah, I am loving it. It's also gorgeous. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. There's a few chunks in there. It didn't get blended good enough, but that's okay. But this is what it's looking like now. But it's only just begun. And I need to flip my chicken. And yes, I know I'm using that metal fork, but it's not touching my pan, so don't panic, ladies. Don't panic. So now this is my favorite part, adding the seasonings. The first thing I'm adding here is crushed red pepper. I'm also going to add salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and a ton of Italian seasonings. I don't measure anything, y'all already know that about me, so I just wing it. I'm just putting it in there, I'm letting it cook, I'm tasting it, and I'm adding whatever else needs to be added. I also add sugar because we are using tomatoes, so don't forget your sugar. Um, yeah, so another thing I want to say is this sauce starts out white or like a, not white, but like a light shade, but as it cooks and, um, you know, simmers, it darkens to a red color. So don't 
get discouraged if when you start the sauce it's a light shade and you're like ew and this is ugly it's gonna get red and it's gonna be delicious oh i'm also adding a little butter girl i cannot live without butter and i'm also squeezing like a half of or just like a lemon slice in there make sure you don't get any seeds in there because when you bite into this and you get a lemon seed it's disgusting so make sure there's no seeds and yeah just put all your seasonings and stuff in there mix it together put a lid on it turn it down medium low whatever let it cook Ooh, it's so good So now I'm just cutting up a little bit more of this tomato because Alan likes the fresh tomato like diced up um, on his bowl of food. After it's done, he likes them fresh on top. And then I'm also cutting up a little bit for the salad because I forgot about putting a tomato in the salad. So as you can see here, the sauce has started to darken and I'm going to be adding in my chicken in just a minute. I'm getting my water boiling for the pasta and then we're going to eat y'all. So Alan is putting together the salad. He's going to be using white vinegar, olive oil, and some seasonings, some salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder. I think that's what he uses. <laughs> I said it before, but I actually forget. But anyways, the salad turned out delicious as you can see here. And my little chicken pasta with homemade sauce turned out really good too. And yeah, I ate too much and ended up just feeling like crap, but yeah. So now that I finished eating, it is time to clean up this kitchen. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I sure hope y'all enjoyed this day in the life video. If you ever have any questions, just ask them down below in the comment section. I always reply to my comments. So you can leave me some questions or leave me some comments. Just say whatever you want or whatever. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would so appreciate it if you did. And if you're already subscribed, then you already know that I love you. Also, don't forget to check out the products mentioned in this video down below in the description, especially my knife, because that knife is so nice and I absolutely love it. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now because I think I've talked enough and you're probably sick of hearing my voice. So, all right then, um, yeah. Oh, one more thing before I go. Are you gonna try my recipe? <laughs> I know it was kind of crazy and the way I made it was like, girl, what are you doing? But it really is delicious, I promise. And you should try it. So yeah, let me know if you're gonna try it. And now I'm gonna shut up, so see you next time, bye. Y'all know I had to say one more thing. So yeah, here is my kitchen all fresh and clean. Okay, I'm waiting for Alan to finish eating so I can finish up cleaning. But I was just giving y'all this quick little look. Okay, bye.